Alex Answer here, August 4th, 2015. So the Archon infestation of human consciousness is what's responsible for some of the mindless wars taking place. The sophisticated organization of this world government structure, in particular historically. I don't think just a few Rockefellers and Rothschilds alone by themselves just simply handing down knowledge from family member to abused sexually family member. These people that humans think are the elite are just, at one point, they were sentient beings that were brought into this world that came under a form of control through a grooming process. And all they are are front men on a global level. I'm talking also about Vladimir Putin. I'm talking also about the draconian leadership over China. Those systems don't represent those people in any way, shape, or form. We are dealing with an ongoing, arconic, mind parasite epidemic on the earth. Now, I don't believe in a collective shift in consciousness, but I do believe that through these solar flares and geomagnetic storms, there are energies that we can access and we can use, if we so choose. Many people do not understand these celestial changes taking place, and instead, they don't look into it. They just look at what they believe is the physical world, what they can smell, what they can see, what they can taste, what they can hear, what they can feel. They are limited in the five senses. And most people themselves don't know how their energy field is affected by other things. Archons possess, manipulate, trick, adulterate, hypnotize, and program human beings with weak magnetic fields. I recommend the lecture by Manley P. Hall where he talks about the health of the human uh, aura or field and how certain actions that we take or can take can lead to either a stronger or weaker magnetic field. The planet has a protective magnetic field, as does human beings. Certain actions potentially taking place on the Earth could cause perhaps holes in the atmosphere. Other changes taking place in the solar system and with the core of our Earth affects the magnetic field and thus we have other anomalies like holes opening and closing that are invisible and scientists are sent up satellites trying to understand this. But do people think also about their own human magnetic field and what happens when you engage in certain activities, perhaps hurting others, hurting yourself, abusing substances, or abusing other things, or abusing alcohol, or, or abusing your mind, letting your mind be adulterated, uh, adulterated by the mainstream media, by an excess of something, Obsessing on physical pleasure, whatever it is, all the time. Being stuck in the flesh itself. I don't think that makes one stronger. So these lifestyles that some people are living, where it's all based in external beauty and it's all based in physical pleasure, these are things that lead to a weak human magnetic field. And that, that leads to cords being established. That leads to people being under control. You don't have... A happy field of energy when you walk into a bar or when you walk into a strip club or when you walk into a particular place of excess. You may walk in at a moment when people are rolling and they're high as hell. But for every ultra high, there is a crash. And by the way, I, I do support the responsible use of medical marijuana and the responsible use of certain substances. What I caution against is taking things to excess. And I would even say, I would caution against taking things to excess more so in certain areas on the planet where there are certain magnetics where human beings can be even that much more controlled. You've heard me uh, discuss Old Town Chinatown many times in the past. The fighting, the debauchery, the thievery, the hatred, the gender warfare, and so many other things happening in, in major cities, but in past videos, I've talked about this little center around 3rd and Oak, 3rd and Burnside, 3rd and Davis, in Old Town, Chinatown, and Portland. Same area where 150 years ago, people were getting kidnapped. Okay, the first women in the city were prostitutes, and they were working with the kidnappers, the crimps, to take advantage of the drunks that wound up in Old Town, Chinatown in that particular day and age. That's negative energy, and that's a field of energy that, in my opinion, has been 
in continuation, in a state of continuation, because the state of consciousness of the inhabitants of that region has not evolved to raise the frequency. So many people are going off grid at this time to protect their energy from the collective energy that has taken over these cities. And I know this goes contrary to a lot of the new age disinformation that has been peddled to us. But the truth is the truth. Consciousness, conscious community, conscious connection is a community where we don't need police. We watch each other because we know each other. People live in happier relationships in a conscious community or in a conscious world. Men and women are not inherently resentful towards each other or afraid of one another. Nor are they codependent. In a conscious society and conscious community where people are grounded and connected with their own energy field and they're in their body, they're not just blasted out of body somewhere else living a virtual reality, they're there in their body being comfortable and strong in their body and owning their space. Now, however you learn how to meditate or whatever technique you use, we'll talk about some basics in a future video. Things like deep breathing, things like what's called Vipassana and how that can help someone protect against arcanic influence. Someone doesn't have to even know that this stuff's going on to be on the right path of grounding oneself and being in one center and healing oneself, that's also very important to learn how to heal yourself of emotional pain that's trapped in your energetic field. You don't think that I've had maybe a little bit of experience learning about some of these things, living the lifestyle that I've led, talking about the things that I've talked about for 10 years with people hating on me, with having to survive on the bare basics, and then discovering certain things about your reality that honestly, uh, to be quite frank, uh, is not necessarily for the public audience. The experiences that I've had that are for me and me alone. I don't need to convince you of a damn thing, but I am here to help you. So you don't need to know my story and how I came to learn about arconic influence in human relationships, in the human dream realm, in human families, in human society. I don't need to tell you every little detail. What is important is that I honestly share from the heart information that I feel can help some of you that may have dealt with some of this arconic influence in either your relationship life or your own consciousness. Maybe some part of you that can't stop drinking, can't stop being angry at others and upset with others. Maybe there's a part of us or you that stalks others and obsesses on certain individuals. That's an energy frequency that is arconic. And when you're looking at stories today, those aren't basalts at the root cause of it. When you hear about someone eating someone's face off or you see some of the most outrageous crimes, person to person crimes of a violent nature and more stories of women acting out in ways that we previously did not see 10 years ago. There is an invasion of human consciousness and you best get street smart about where earth is and what earth is going through. If you are to survive some of these very intense times that we're in. We are in a period of sore maximum and I have personally noted an increase in drug addiction, violence, and other social ills. When our planet is boosted, when the geomagnetic field is activated by the CMEs, by the coronal mass ejections, impacting our increasingly weakening and changing fluctuating Earth's magnetic field, and that impacts the human field. Either we learn about these fields that are based in science, that have already been documented, and we learn about spiritual maintenance, or we continue to live in ignorance. But in this situation, ignorance is not bliss. In this situation that we're discussing in Earth's spiritual politics today, if you ain't hip to what's going on on this planet, then you might not even know if your thoughts are your own. When people think about mind control, often they think about the mainstream media. In this conversation, we are talking about a wireless form of mind control that exists outside of Wi-Fi that does relate to the grid, but not so much the physical grid. The physical forms of slavery that you're seeing around you is just a mere effect of something else going on in the cosmos or this part of the universe, okay? But also, as I've said in a recent video, 
the growing off the grid movement is really a cover for people seeking their own spiritual sovereignty from the archonic rulership world that we live in. Freedom from abusive relationships. Freedom from abusive bosses. Freedom from abusive people on YouTube and other Facebook comments. Freedom from uh, uh, some sort of a situation where you have to live around neighbors that hate you and the way you look and the color of your skin, whatever it is. Be you white, be you black, be you Hispanic, be you Asian, be you other. Oh, 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 oh. Shout out to all the others. Hey, to the other box. Hey, to the others. We live in a world where people are divided and sent to war over the illusions of separation, mostly based on skin tone. And we have been putting these blocks from, ooh, we have the uh, northern hemisphere over here and we have this uh, North American continent. We have Europe and Europa. We have the Asian continent and the coalitions of all these countries, these different blocks around the world, but they're still all connected around the world in these massive super state nations. You see parallel experiences with people suffering. You see parallel experiences with the police state. You see protests worldwide screaming for a change or an end to this archonic system. And those protests that, that build up around solar flares is the human spirit being activated. It is the empathetic frequency in their body rising like a powerful fire. But we need to think long term and not just cyclical. To just, you know, go out to the protest when you feel like it's that time to go out to the protest. We should use this energy that we have from the sun and other celestial things in a mindful, consistent pattern and to understand how we're affected. Because ultimately, this energy that's coming in is not entirely acoustic to the human species. Energy is energy. It's just simply how you use it. So when you see people that are affected by these changes and they, they're tricked to go off to war, they end up in some sort of war psychosis, they slap their wife, they run somebody over with their car. Humanity doesn't yet understand their patterns with humanity flipping the fuck out. I do, and so do some of you. Don't let this knowledge just drift out of your mind as you go to another headline over at rinse.com or infowars.com. It's gonna be aware of stuff. It's more important to understand the patterns of human behavior to develop and cultivate and refine pattern recognition. So we're in a time with all this excess energy that the archons are very busy whispering in people's ears, trying to get brother against sister, sister against brother, sister against sister, brother against brother, divide people by race. This is all an archonic program. We will talk in the future about things like meditation, deep breathing. Why is deep breathing important? Why is it important to have good lungs, to be able to breathe deeply, to be able to sit in the same position for several minutes and just actually observe what's going on in your body without reacting to it and trying to scratch it and just trying to just jump around like some sort of crack monkey. What does it mean to actually breathe and just observe and not react to the sensations around us? And then from there, what does it mean to ground a center to the earth and clean out your own energy field to boost your own bubble? And in some cases, mirror send back an attack that's being sent at you once you're sensitive enough to realize that something's being thrown at you. Not too different than a wrench at your head. The spiritual world, my friends, in some cases, can be a dangerous neighborhood. So you have to keep your wits about you, learn how to defend yourself, learn how to deflect, and learn how to stay calm and be aware of what's actually going on around you, peripheral vision and everything. I'm Alex Hansry for August 4th, 2015. We'll be back with more on this topic.